today we're playing Five Nights at Beams 2, The Return of Big Chungus, Night 6. And the reason why the music is so deep, no, it's, it's, um, the music has gotten to this point, it's, it's because it's took a little bit to get my recording set up. So, any, any, you probably don't know what I just said, but... Trek is already gone. I believe in you. We all believe in you. Okay. Yeah, that's close. I swear, I just hear something. I don't. I totally did. It's only 2 a.m. still. Jesus Christ. Let's just press the mask mask down for me. I was so close to not hitting it. If I didn't hit it, I would be doomed. Dude. I really need to hit the button harder. I want to find the moth as fast as possible whenever you see him. 
about to attack. No screw ups. No unlucky moments. And also, um, I think maybe a month ago, a month or two ago, I learned, I learned that, um, Big Chungus doesn't actually disable your camera. I mean, it doesn't jump scare you. It only disables your camera. I thought it would jump scare you, but the jump scare looks like. was, um, the main menu, like, in a. Like, yeah, I don't know. Dude, that kind of scared me. Okay, come on. Come on. Please. Please. Yes! Woo! First try. And now that leaves us with the custom night, which isn't actually finished. Or hasn't really been... It hasn't really been made yet. Because we click on it, it, um, doesn't really do anything. According to the developer, he says he didn't actually know that he even put the button there. So... If you don't know that you put it there, you can't really code it, because you're unaware of it. So that kind of makes sense, I guess, but how do you actually, I don't, you know what, it's just developer stuff. I'm confused, but anyways, that leaves us with, uh, we've beaten the game until the custom gets fixed or added. So, well, goodbye.